Welcome to the draft. Elder Titan, Five not there. Remaining. Congratulations Yay. again, guys. We dodged another remake. No Pangolier or Dark Willow, though. Oh, no. Wow, that was the fastest ban you've ever seen. The j no more <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Damn. Understandable, ah, though. Arc Warden. Do you think Mouse wants to allow this hero to go through? Don't both play it? I've seen Mouse play it before. A long well, time wasn't ago. it Mouse that got destroyed by it? Ten yeah, they did get destroyed. Remaining. So, I would ban. Uh, we know OG play it. Yeah. They love it. So, Batrider's in again here. We see the Nyx ban. Spectre's in. She's been a pretty strong hero lately. Talked about the Tiny earlier. Tidehunter as well. Uh, probably the other big offlaner this game, along with Bat. Your boy Centaur also in the mix. Oh boy. Although S4 Centaur is pretty hype. He makes the hero look Same. good. Uh, decent supports once again. We have Rubik. Wow, lots of supports. Rubik, Ogre, Coddle, CM, Shadow Shaman once more. Then you have the possibility to the Visage too. Oh, oh Spirit Breaker. There's the Arc Warden ban. Yeah. So you can oh, have Ogre PA. PA. You can have Alchemist for OG. Well, the high priority picks are Batrider, Ogre, Rubik from the intelligence side. Ten yep. seconds remaining. Nobody really from agility that you want to take that early, probably. Five no, just thinking about the uh, PL and the Spectre is that kind of second and last couple picks. What about stuns this game? We have the Wraith King, we have the Dragon Knight. Quite a few stuns left in this pool overall, actually. Just because there's so many support heroes. So the Rubik, I would guess. Ban the oh, razor. Bat's in. Never mind. They'll probably take Bat. Why did they ban the Razor of all heroes? Taking away the few carries that are available. Because you know Mouse Sports will probably try to take the Bat Rider here, you would think. But could be so they don't want to give a. Maybe they're assuming if they ban the Bat Rider, then Maus will get either the Centaur or the Underlord, and Raze is good against both. Uh, wow. Like you're gonna have a hard time. Early PL. All right, All right well, so that kind of counters the Bat. Yeah. But you could still go Ogre Rubik if you want as well, or you could still go Bat. I think you probably. Eh. Is there anything S4 would rather play, I guess, is the question. Maybe they're trying to craft an aggro try and think about giving him the safe lane Underlord. This could be an Alchemist game as well. Eat up yeah. those illusions, man. That's a lot of extra gold. Mm. It's tough, you yeah. That no Tail loves, loves his Alchemist. It's hard to find an aggro try, too, because of the PL. The best aggro try, I think, would be the Wraith King plus some, but then you're playing Wraith King into PL. Which is not fun. Very important picks here for OG. Wraith King is kind of out of the equation now because of PL and all likelihood, so it will be the Ogre. Start. Mm. And you can see they're, they're definitely taking their time this time around. They're not... Last game they were insta-picking. Super confident. Yeah. Perhaps I wonder if they're shaking. just thinking about Tinker again. Like, can we do it? Do you guys this want to try early? Bat Tinker again? Well, no, but just like they want, they want the full concept of their draft down. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Pottle. All Once right. Again, another hero. Real... PL's good against. Yeah. But also good with. Perhaps a deny pick in some respects as well. Also true. It's going to be a super greedy coddle, I would think. With Fly playing Ogre. Right, the back to the Rasta. Before. It's the same lineup so far. What are they missing? Uh, oh, compared to last game. Yeah. You don't get to see this the very Magnus. often in the Captain's Draft. <laughs> yeah, and true. The jug. No and what was that for? Hmm... Five seconds. I don't Slipping. remember. Slipping off the top of my head. Marana. Ah, that was it. All right, the big fat watermelon himself. That's nice. They're taking a good hero against the PL in lane. They really boxed them into this Bat Rider pick. Yeah. 
I mean, you could just drop it completely and go for dual lanes. Yeah. I think they might do Coddle plus one in the Five off lane remaining. and put the Underlord safe. Yeah, Underlord could be pretty good. I could also do Centaur safe too, right? We know that No Tail's very good at. Um, assuming then, if you're doing like a sacrificial safe laner, then I think it would probably go to No Tail, and then Rezo gets a harder hero in the mid lane. Yeah. Although this does feel like it's still feeling like an Alk game to me, which would be safe lane. It's worse on the dire side because where the yeah. bounty runes are, it's harder to grab both compared to if you're playing like Radiant safe lane or something. Yeah, that's true. So then again, you could also play dire off lane. With the Alk plus one, you're closer to the bounty runes. But then you're an Alk in an aggro position, which could be difficult. Is there any possibility of a no-tail Meepo? <laughs> yes. I didn't even notice that was in. It's a good point. Uh, the Ravage is obviously quite good against it. And at the same time, you can also say that like single target is kind of nice, but not really long-form lockdown like a Shadow Shaman. Uh, because the other Meepos so hear me will just cancel if, it. If there's a Meepo pick, do you get Aghanims on Phantom Lancer? Sounds no. way too good. Are you sure? <laughs> Sounds really good. Alright, so the benefits would be then you'd get all these illusions, and then you use your doppelganger, and now you have these guys, like, all just hopping on someone. You're basically Chaos Knight. Mm -hmm. I think it's just, it's such a step off of the build, though. Like, it just doesn't jive well with the hero. I don't know. Is that enough to justify it? Like when a Medusa gets the eggs and you're like, yeah, that's worth because you just destroy some CK or something. I don't yeah, know. that one's a little more, more clear cut for sure. So we're going to see the S4 Centaur. He's going to get super annoyed by PL this game. I think he's going to wind up in some sort of a safe lane scenario. Or it'll be a dual lane with the Coddle, one or the other. They are running out of time, by the way. And that's the Tinker okay. again. Wow, okay. Going back to the Tinker. Sticking tried and true. So this probably puts our PL mid. We'll see that matchup again. And safe lane for either Madara or Thug, depending how they mix it up. Ten seconds remaining. Wraith King for themselves isn't terrible. Five seconds remaining. He doesn't do quite as well against the blind as the Jug would have, but there's also not a fabulous hero this game. They could Spectre. Actually. Talking about OG, right? No, Mouse. How would Spectre yeah. be for OG? That's a lot of global presence. Uh, Yeah, but they'd also have nothing for the first, like, 14 minutes yeah. of the game. Yeah, that's definitely true. They'd struggle. Rely a lot on Ogre and Keeper. Hmm. Well, with the Tidehunter offlane, PL mid in all likelihood. Looking for a safe lane here. You think they could get away with Lone Druid? Yeah, definitely. I think that would be the best hero. Um, I just don't know how well they play it. He's got issues of his own, though, uh, in terms of like the Tinker. He's pretty easy to just blind the bear if you're thinking about like high ground sieging and stuff like that. But he's also survivable against his like global gank strats because of the uh, Savage Roars. They take the Spectre. Yep. I like it. And the Rubik. Fifth pick Rubik. <laughs> Beauty. Not often you see that. Not a fabulous Rubik game, to be honest. Um, good instant initiation against the Centaur. If you like, see him and he tries to blink stomp, you just lift him. Uh, and there's a couple okay steals, and they go back for the DK. Dragon so, Knight. Wow. That solves their PL problem, probably. All right. Well, I, again, am going to say I like Mouse Sports lineup more. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I said I thought no to or OG would be able to do it, but that other draft, in my opinion, looked stronger for what they were trying to do. Uh, and now I'm a bit worried. But Fly has the good cosmetic here for Ogre. He's ready to go. And of course, S4 has the best one in the game. So they have that going for them. Can't say I've seen a whole lot of Dragon Knight resolution before. That's a new one. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, but if he is put up mid lane against PL, how do you like that matchup overall? So DK should be able much, to survive. Yeah, much better. <laughs> yeah. Five seconds remaining. So you would put Tinker safe lane in this case, right? Yeah. Much safer. Uh, 
I, yeah, I'm not sure. They're going to try and find something. There might be some lane dancing happening because it's also the problem of S4, right? You don't want him to get stomped. So we assume it's going to be Tinker safe along with the Ogre, but then he probably needs help depending on how much pressure Mouseworth's put on. I don't know. It's a bit worrisome to me. I mean, they I can't feel like kill Tide. S4 might get sacked. They absolutely cannot kill Tide in that lane if Tinker's safe. I don't see how they would. Yeah, but what if they don't send Tinker or uh, Tide? What if they side send like. Oh, actually, they probably have to because Spectral just be chilling. Okay. I mean, Tinker has to go to that lane, though, right? The safe lane? Like, how could yeah. you do a tri lane with Tinker? No. In Sounds the end, awful. It's, it's just worrisome. I don't know how much S4 is going to get. That's my big concern. Yeah, Centaur is uh, likely to have some issues in the early stage of this game, but we'll see. As game two is underway between Mouse Sports and OG in the best of five grand finals for the Captain's Draft 4.0 minor for the EU region, Mouse Sports up 1 nothing. In quite convincing fashion, I have to say. And we're going to see an early smoke here for Mouse. Yeah, nice. They're predicting that it's going to be just no tail because logically, you know that they want to aggro with at least two heroes with a centaur, or else he's going to get absolutely nothing. So with the Dragon Knight, you assume that's going to be mid, and then Tinker will be top. But no tail seems to also be thinking that, hmm, I do not want to be anywhere where they can find me. Smart move. Yeah. Bitey senses tingling, that's for sure. He's going for the early wand as well. So, is there any way that he ends up mid? Tinker? Yeah. Don't think so. I mean, unless that they like aggro try or something. Mm -hmm. Aggro try with the old centaur, huh? <laughs> no, with the old uh, specter. Oh, you're talking about them, Aggro yeah. trying, yeah. Well, she finishes the game nonetheless. Madar is going to be able to take this bounty run easily, but it's still going to be a two for two as S4 is going to wander on the the Radiant Jungle bounty. I really like this from Mouse. Although it is a Spectre, I think this is the correct solution. You should be trying to pressure the Tinker. You don't want to give him a free lane versus the Tidehunter where he can just fire him. Like, yes, Tidehunter will be fine, but why give anything to a, a Tinker? Yeah, if you can shut him down early. We kind of saw that last game. Didn't really feel like his impact was felt. So this is great for S4 as well. Because that means he's going to get quite a bit of farm. This will probably allow Jerax to head top lane. And we'll have a try on try. And yeah, here he comes now. <laughs> Resolution's a really early level of uh, breathe fire here. Going to help him last hit a lot in this lane. Of course, it was nerfed. For the early stages of the game, we'll scale better as the time goes on. Eliminate coming out. There's the telekinesis. There's the shackle as well. No tail taking quite a bit of damage. You have to focus somebody. Looks like Spartan's gonna be the first blood for OG. And Spectre, you talked about him being not the greatest tri laner in the world. His fly. He has ignite in two seconds. Will he choose to chase this with the illuminate? That might be enough. Oh, it's gonna be close. He's ticking down, and the second kill goes the way of OG. A great start for them this time around. All right, greed has been punished. <laughs> It's like, yeah, we want shot. We're not happy just trading farm. We want to go aggro on you. You're a tinker, but we're a specter. They just got the better of the start of that engagement. The march was huge, level one. Did a lot of work in that fight. And with the, the Coddle eventually going to be getting the Chakra Magic, we expect Ogre to just spam out these spells left and right. As we're going to see the Telekinesis onto Ogre. Fly, shackled up. There's some right clicks. Don't think they're gonna have enough damage to fill this out, but Spectral Dagger does come out. No tail with a very early march in the machines, forcing everybody out. Yeah, the problem is this White is always gonna push spell. the wave though. So they need True. a lot of lane control. And Resolution's always gonna be out of man in this lane because he is a Dragon Knight, and that's just what Dragon Knight does. We have TP down by Jerax. <laughs> he's tangoing the other side of the river. <laughs> Dragon Knight. Alright, he's one v one Madara. Then get out of here. Pretty low. Only three wand charges, so it won't be enough to get that, that breathe fire action going. Oh, I just heard that Rubik. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I'm it was the Rubik's spell shield here thing. Pretty soon. Only level one breathe fire, though, so it's going to be a pretty difficult kill. Top lane, Telekinesis on the no-tail, but they're just going to follow it up with an ignite into March of the Machines yet again. Oh, mid lane. Mid lane. The Illuminate. Madara getting very low resolution, attempting the right click, and he will get that kill in mid. So OG off to an amazing start in pretty much every lane. If we look at bottom, the only one we haven't really talked about, 12 and one CS versus 10 and three, so pretty much a wash for now. Yeah, to be expected. 
And uh, so much regen left on Skylark. I mean, regen left on both of them, honestly. So, not expecting anything down there anytime soon. Fly. That's not getting pretty low here. And Illuminate come out. Fly will die first, though. Spartan, looks like No-Tail and Jax will try to clean him up next. So it's a one for one. Could be worse. Madara continues. I, I was not expecting S4 to die in this lane. Yeah, he still had Sal too. So he's playing really greedy. Like I say, he just got gushed. He'll be punished pretty hard, but he's not going to miss too much XP. We'll be able to TP out there pretty safely. Thug has to buy a bunch of regen. So not really progressing in his itemization at all in this lane. Is this essentially just the lane you're trying to disrupt Tinker from getting that those early bots, early soul ring? Yeah, I think Things they thought nature. it was going to go better, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but then they'll just send the the Tinker or the uh, Tidehunter up here sooner uh, rather than later, and then Thug will just end up bottom. Once again, the lane does keep pushing, and Thug just keeps going and trying to pull it his way. So no tell is a chill on the marches. And now it actually will pull his way, so... Yeah, with that kill, Skylark, of course, has the level advantage now. And, I mean, generally speaking, Tide's very strong against melee heroes anyway, so... They spot the rotation from Thug with the ward bottom. And their Which bounty there won't be gone. any play on S4. Much to S4's dismay. Resolution definitely winning this mid lane. Has level advantage here. We'll have Dragon Form in the next level to be able to push down these towers. And Notel's being left alone right now, so MNT is the only person here. Notel is pretty happy with that. In fact, he's going to rush the boots of travel if he can continue with his farming pace. Bottom lane, we have the Shackle S4 in a lot of trouble. Already had the hoof stomp off. One more right click will do it, but the Hell South comes out. And that's enough to force back Thug and company. As reinforcements are now here, Illuminate's not going to hit. But there's the Ignite S4 looking for the hoof stomp. Nope. Will we push back thanks to the Gush? And. You're right, the musical chairs have begun. Skylark will be TPing top. Well, in all likelihood, Shrine up. Pretty big wins for OG, though. I mean, the Tinker came out on top in that situation. Now Spectre's not only just underfarmed, but you're into a dangerous lane with the Coddle, who has, uh, now has levels. Like, it's one thing early on, the Coddle dual lane, but now he's level 3. He's got 2 points in that Illuminate, and he's just going to be blasting through these trees over blasting. and over. Blasting! Uh, and they yeah. even have wards around here, too, so he's just playing around. I'm just looking at the level advantage now. It may not seem like that big of a deal, but this early game, you have... Well, somebody just hit two, or just hit three. Uh, and look at his mouse, rotations. So. Now he's just mid, blasting through the trees again. Like, how can you predict where this guy's going to go? He's so fast, because he's brown boots, so he's 375 already. Oh, Fly's going to cancel that health out. That is super annoying for your Madara. Into the Illuminate as well. He might have to be forced back to base at this point. Will that leave S4 open for a gank here, though? S... Our Spartan here. Has the shackle, but chooses not to use it. They don't really have that much kill potential with just the two of them. As a resolution, dragon forms up. That means you're going to be getting this tick damage on the tower. But now with the third member bottom, S4 is going to get some TP support. Telekinesis is there. Into the shackle. Into that desolate damage. Illuminate's coming, though. S4 with the stampede. Able to get a hook stop only on one hero. He's going to have to force back here. As MNT looks to be resigned to his death one way or the other. Question is, who will get the kill? And can he actually get away? Nope, Jarex finally with that last attack. Unfortunately, doesn't do enough damage to really do anything to the courier. <laughs> yeah, it's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> that would take like five hits. So, uh, Thug has gained about 200 gold since you came down here. Not going too well. Yeah. And uh, more pressure to come. And, and Thug has this farm of support right now. Yep. And no Iron Town these days to... Yeah. Do your typical Spectre catch up. That's a good point. And resolution, now the Dragon Form is done. Breathe fire again, now level 3, so dealing considerable damage. They're looking Spartan. for a play here, though. Yeah. It's oh, Skylark, wrong though. way. Ignite into the Fire Blast, into the double hoof stomp. I'm actually surprised that connected on both. But either way, OG will take it. And they'll take two kills with it. And that is a Boots of Travel at seven minutes for No Tail. Whew. And he's coming bottom. He no is. Mana leak, he's like, though. hey, bro. How's your farm? Remember thug? me? <laughs> How's your farm, bro? He's so fast. Who solution, was playing though. the Spectre that ended up suiciding to the fountain? Was it Red Was it Thug? No, it wasn't remember. OG. Cool. Now Jarex not able to get that Illuminate off in time. Whoever it was, they won the game too. That's what <laughs> that was the hilarious part. It was Tomato, that's who it was. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
That needs to be made into a highlight. I'm surprised we didn't see that on, on red or anything. No tail. He's going to take a little bit of damage here, but we'll TP out to safety. Looks like a TP was canceled over here, though. Well, this is looking a bit like last game, where the dire had quite the edge. Except it. Wait, what? Was it the dire? No, I have it the wrong way around. No, they were radiant. They were, they were this side. But when Mao's had quite the edge. Right. Uh, now they're behind with very similar lineup in a lot of ways. At least two heroes are the same. Kicker's showing himself off mid again. A resolution, of course, with the dragon form now up and running. Question is, does he want to use it for this tower? Yes, he does. Illuminate coming out on the backside. If they can zone these heroes out, it will not connect, though. And this tower is going to be left as a freebie. And it's coming straight top. It. Indeed. Some damage is done to the tier one, but not enough for an actual kill, Madara. We're going to see the same kind of deal with the Mantis style and Doppelganger able to get out of the, the laser, but not as much. Uh... Look at Jerax mid. <laughs> it's oh. pretty annoying. Oh, he's actually going to get. No, it almost clips Thug. Not quite enough. That actually would be quite a bit of damage, too. It's level three. Resolution. As you can see, geez, the raindrop's saving him. Anchor smashed. Looking to just do a little bit of more damage while this dragon form is up. And that's probably the last time he'll do that for until the next ultimate is available to him. Jerax, of course. We're going to see the Brown Boots Aghanim Scepter build, which we kind of expected. Very greedy position for Caudle. Actually, a pretty good game for that for resolution in the high ground uh, taking. No doubt. Yeah. That's going to be super strong with the heals. Oh, S4. Has 1,400 gold working towards the blink. They will probably not be able to find this kill. Although they do pop the stampede. We'll see. Hosan's available. There we go. No tail. Has the laser. Has the, the rockets. Will it be enough to actually get the kill? Doppelganger up in four seconds. This looks to be one dead Phantom Lancer. And, while and they're getting every the river. kill. He runs away from three heroes. Yeah, he does have 425 move speed. It's pretty good. What do you think this line is that Shaman just drew? This line here. Do you think this is the we can't go past here or we die? Uh, I yeah, I would think so. That's not that's not a good sign though. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, if you're setting limits for yourself. Jax is right next to him. Hello. Back here, you speedy old man. Damn you! All right, oh, Jax, two heroes so Double TPs. You gonna call anyone in? Let's see if he buys an ogre axe or anything before he dies. Actually, Ravage is popped, and yeah, he did. He did buy a component for. For the axe, so it doesn't. Yeah, really he got the blinding light off, so it wasn't a guaranteed kill. If they all missed on those last couple of volleys, so ravage to make sure. It's funny to, because of how far behind there. That was a 500 gold swing on a coddle. <laughs> Tinker down bot an escort. Yep, Madara very low. Doppelganger up in two. Will he do enough damage? Again, he dies. So no tail. Just needed a warm up game, it seems. Yep. He's on there now, and DK during all of this is just taking towers. Now S4 is going to come up here and back him up. Plus, they're going to have the availability of the Tinker to just come right into these engagements. This is what they were looking for. And uh, we still have a Haunt, but we don't have a Ravage. It really feels like we need that big fight soon from the Radiant, but these heroes are getting wildly out of control on the Dire side. How are you going to deal with this Dragon Knight? 21 armor, pops the armlet, 25. And with that siege unit, they're going to be able to secure a tier 2 tower here very early in the game. And yeah, you're right. Like, DK getting off to this fast start, along with Tinker, feels very difficult to deal with as a TP is cancelled. I believe that was Skylar. And oh, oh we have a jump and hoof stomp onto two. They have vision now. They know Illuminate finishes off the pesky Shadow Shaman. Skylark will take an ignite for his troubles. Oh, well, they're going to know that ward's there, but very nicely placed by Fly. How long is the duration? It's almost up anyway. <laughs> yep. Not a big, not deal. A big deal. Skylark. Oh, nope, not sure if you saw that. It is nighttime, so probably did not. And yeah, OG is... You're right. This is flip-flopped completely from the last game. 9k lead at 12 minutes is pretty insane. And now Resolution with a Blink Dagger. They can dive. They can initiate. And Tinker can jump right on them. Well, not until he has boots level 2, I guess. 
I expect that at some point this game for sure. Oh, they're yeah, sandwiched nope. in here by S4 and Rezo. And we have the Shackle on to S4. Spirit Lance to follow. He's going to have to pop the Stampede, but there is the Steel as well. Okay. He uses it off the Telekinesis. Uh, and using it to full effect to get that kill in the end. That kind of sucks to use it right there, but oh well. Low cooldown. That's fine. Yeah, but I feel like they Actually, need every little thing they can get, right? Where, like, they just want to use it again. Now they just bring the DK bottom. Oh, that's irritating. Yeah, a lot of mobility. Who was Resolution last game? The Ursa. Yeah, you're seeing the complete difference in <laughs> the hero's power here. Like, if this was an Ursa game, you might be having some similar troubles. But he's able to capitalize on this net worth lead taking towers. Doesn't have to rely on Roche, which that was a big reason that Mouse did really well last game as well. And now and Tinker coming, but oh, yeah, Skylark! Skylark, he has mech. He's pretty tanky, and the Ravage available. See if he has to use it or not. Pops the mech. No, he doesn't want to use it here. No. And will eventually tick down in the tier two tower to follow. OG getting literally everything they want right now. Yeah, their wave control is very good. Coddle just comes mid, pulling this DK all across the map. Jeez, Coddle's almost surpassing the PL. They're going to have a four course at the top of the chart. Yeah, that's <laughs> good old Jerex. Oh. And he's only about 1,100 away from finishing Ags. And that's perhaps the point in which you're comfortable if you're OG going high ground. Even even though you do have a substantial lead right now. Maybe you go for Roche as well. On top of that. They're going to jump in S4 with the hoof stomp. Double edge. Easy kill on MNT. Tinker's here a little bit late to the party, but here nonetheless. Finally, Diffusal Blade, though, on Madara. They're also pinging out that ancient stack, saying, let's take this. Yeah, they could very well do that. Dragon Form level 2 available in 6 seconds for resolution. As he's just going to go to town on this tier 2 tower for now. All right, activates the ult. He's actually all alone right now. And the mana drain is there with the defusal. But here comes No-Tail with the support. Resolution completely out of mana. There's a stampede to keep him alive. It's pretty low. We'll take out the ancient stack, though, as a consolation prize, if nothing else. And the BKB, which is coming for resolution soon, is definitely needed at this point, now that the defusal blade's online. They actually get Jerax here. Yeah, oh. that's going to delay his Ags a bit. It's amazing how squishy he is. <laughs> yeah, so fast though. 80 gush damage. I didn't know that was a talent. Pretty cool. Is that calculated in? I guess it must be. Well, as for working on his hood now. Any other crazy items we're waiting for? No Tail was going for Ags, only has one component right now. On the side of Mouse Sports, Spectre, Control. Uh, like well, the real question blade. is... Or yeah. Yasha, I mean. I think Montag is Yasha. If they can get a big Ravage, and they need some huge steal from MNT to actually get some real damage in these engagements. Like, if he steals, let's say, Illuminate or something, he's able to charge that up, that could be something that could turn one of these fights with a combination of Ravage and Haunt. Easier said than done. Do you think uh, Mouths have any chance? I'm having a hard time. Uh, like, I mean, there is a window that OG has to take advantage of, right? Is there, though? Yeah. I mean, how are you ever going to surpass this wave? I mean, that window is pretty huge. It's like <laughs> church size stained glass. <laughs> There's a couple stories of images in it, you know? In theory, Mouse have a way better late game. Way better. I mean, not when you're 12k down at 17 minutes, though. You know, if it's even footing, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it's going to be a very difficult game regardless, as we're going to see MNT get destroyed. Get Ravage onto three. No time getting quite low. The Stampede's going to keep him alive, but Thug will eventually clip him down. Oh, the they're doing it. They're Shaman winning. Is here. Gets the shackle off. Jerax with the illuminate. It's gonna be close enough uh, damage to actually top, take S4. him out. S4 double edge. Has the blink in one second. If he doesn't get hit, oh! But the spirit lance was just in time. So a two for two trade for Mouse. They lose two supports. 
they get the off lane and the position two. And you know, the snakes were actually clutch. He threw them from the low ground, and that last right click helped uh, them secure the kill. Or else I think Tinker would have got away with the stampede. Yeah, Resolution's BKB should be coming right now, and the Ags is officially online for Jerax. Yeah, that, yeah, and that was the daytime. last fight without it, too, so that's pretty dangerous. And then they're going to get a gem going, and the game will be very difficult for the Radiant. Tinker coming Why? in bot, but it won't matter. Yeah, No Tail's farm has kind of stopped in some fashion. Still working on the Ags. We're going to jump into the resolution on the BKB. Dragon Tail and the Breathe Fire just blow up Spartan. So no Rasta for 30 seconds. Madara, he can be very annoying. It's pretty hard to go high ground against a Diffusal Blade PL, although he's going to get a lot of damage targeted yeah, towards him. No buyback. He needs to be really careful. That's true. Resolution, getting some gush. Oh, Centaur gets Telekinese in the mid stomp there. Ravage is not available for 56 seconds, and there's the heal. Jerax in the back line, making sure that these tanky cores are healthy. Esor just needs to stand in front of that Illuminate, which he will eventually. And he's back to a healthy amount. Skylark, MNT, and Spartan. Not a whole lot they can do. Double hook stomp into the double edge. Not enough to actually get Shadow Shot, but the Resolution is here to finish him off. And this is looking like a potential Rax here for OG. They're just abusing the downtime of the Haunt and the Ravage. It's really well done. You have Keeper of the Light. You can keep bringing people back in. Yeah, but Dragon Form is down, so that means they're they're not going to be able to actually take out the complete racks. but Shrines yeah. are available thanks to the Tier 3 destruction. I'm actually really surprised they didn't get a Rax there, considering how much advantage they had. Instant blow up on the Shaman, no Haunt, no Ravage. And uh, you had daytime too with the heals, and they're not able to quite break through. The steal of the breathe fire was very nice. It helped reduce a little bit of that damage and slowed them down. And they have stampede <laughs> right now too. Flies dead. Resolution's like, see ya. Almost able to take out that shrine though. We'll probably uh, finish that oh, off Rubik. soon enough. Now we get the telekinesis on S4. S4 looking for up. Oh, that's the stolen stampede, keeping him healthy. And things continue on as OG have lost a little bit of the lead, but still firmly in control right now. Expect perhaps a Roche at some point, but you do have to worry about might. Haunt and Ravage. Yeah, they might try and snake the Roche and steal it too. A sneaky snake play, as it were. Yep, just like last game, I guess. Yeah. Much harder to execute, of course. Uh, but with the PL, it's definitely possible. He's a pretty good Rocher these days. There's a smoke mid with PL nearby. Could be a great grab. But they're just going to play it safe and go Roche. Well, they're going to see Madara. Oh, man, he's so tempting. They're just going past. They want the back lines, and they're going to find it. Okay, they know that Rubik is here, and he is going to die. The mech will not save you. Trying his pop. Tidehunter has Ravage. Keep in mind, he can hit the entire team if he wants to, but this is a follow-up is the question. There's the Spartan. Wards being placed. Resolution. The Ravage is out. doesn't hit anybody. The BKB activated on Resolution means he will not get stunned up. Has the blink available in one second. Oh my second. god, that blink. No tail. Madara. He doppelgangs up. Looks like Ogre, or sorry, Tidehunter is the one that's going to fall in the end. So a wasted Ravage is huge in favor of OG. As the chase is now into the lowly position 5 Spartan. And down he goes. They almost chased down No Tail, but he's able to get the uh, rear arm blink off in the midst of Spectre. Yeah, that was a, that was a rough fight for Mouse's. I believe Resolution and company are going to at least poke at this tower, if not do a little bit more, but the Dragon Form is about to dissipate. And they're looking for a pause now. PP break for No Tail. PP time. Yeah, this is a tough game for Mouse, definitely. Yeah. yeah Rezo is just unkillable. Literally. I mean, 9 0 and 1. Yeah. I mean, it's a hard hero to kill for these, uh, the composition that they have, right? Like, you can drain the mana thanks to PL, but now that BKB's online, not, not so much. Uh, and it looks like he's going for a Mjolnir, actually, so we'll be able to clear up those illusions pretty fast. And other than PL, though, you don't have any damage, because Spectre has Yasha, and that's it right now. Yep. And she won't really... Like, at what point do you start to fear this Spectre? <laughs> Once Radiance comes online? I guess so. If that's really what he's going to go for. You don't agree with that? Are you thinking Diffusal? 
I don't know. It's just... Hmm. That's a hard call. I don't know. I like the Mana Burn a lot versus the Tinker, but at the same time, the Radiance is just like that big item where it's like, all right, this is it. I got it, guys. Let's go. Let's yeah. fight. And this BKB will be worn down by the DK by then. I have a Diffusal on my PL anyway, so... Yeah, I just... It's very far away, obviously. Mm -hmm. And he's already switched to a Manta now. He doesn't know what he's doing either. <laughs> <laughs> Manta style this game. Laser, I suppose. Um... Not sure if it takes off the breathe fire. Yeah, this uh, is spellable. Okay. So the twenty five percent damage reduction. And How do you by feel way, about that being removed from Silver Edge? By the way, I don't think I ever asked you. I was really surprised eh, that they took away the damage reduction. It was kind of weird. It, it it didn't feel like it had a. I think what they want to do, and you're seeing it with some other items coming to play, like Aether Lens, they got rid of a certain portion of it and put it into another item, right? So I yeah. think they're going to do the same. They're trying to make it less complicated. Right. Less complicated, more streamlined. Like, Dragon Knight now is a little bit more powerful because not many people have a damage mitigation like that. Yeah. Not sure if they end up putting that in an item. Maybe not. But I'm fine with it. I think Silver Edge, it, it was too common, I would say. Yeah. Too common of a pickup. Now it's just like, all right, it lasts a little bit longer as far as the, the cooldown's better, but really you're getting it for the passive to take out a passive and that's it so it's not always good sometimes you'll just be stuck with the regular shadow blade which is fine i think what is it with spartan and his heart drawings he loves drawing hearts he's doing it again he's a very happy guy yeah. you know lovable big Loving. fan of big fan of them well i thought the damage reduction thing was pretty cool so i'm a little disappointed but i'll be intrigued to see if we get an item that does something similar I don't know how it would work, though. Would it be like an urn where you could just target it at someone? That would be really broken. Nice Perhaps. stomp on to Spartan. All right. Spartan not so happy for this 30 seconds. We'll see if no. he draws a heart that's, or not. Yeah, it's a broken heart right there. You got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh. Yeah. All right. I guess more artistically, you got you need like the cracks down the middle or something. I can't do I can't draw. That is horrible. That there it is. Like it's a broken. Dead rabbit. <laughs> that looks like a dead goddamn rabbit right there. MNT very close to a blink dagger. And the double, the double vit booster on Madara, so not saving it for the Reaver first. And there's the Ags. So Tinker is going to be that much more annoying now. We saw this last game, but he got it super late, and they were already so far behind. Of course, not going to make a huge difference against PL. Actually, that's not true. The illusions will all miss, so it does make a huge difference, and they can't. Yeah. Or you know they'll that. just be gone. <laughs> <laughs> or that. He's yep. going to blow up the illusions, I think. True. All right, here's the smoke. Skylark. Ravage in 15 seconds. Trying to catch somebody out here. S4. He feels they that want might one be... kill before oh. Roach. See if they can get him. He pops the stampede. Gets the four staff off. And he will live. <laughs> Skylark goes this way. Everyone else runs back. <laughs> like, what? Team? So smoke down. And the double stampede down now, in theory. Probably one of the easiest skills to steal as a Rubik, as long as you're in range. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't often uh, stampede and then immediately cast one of his other ones, right? You're not going to stampede and hoof stomp. I mean, you could. <laughs> Before Honestly, running away, you're that confident that. in your escape. <laughs> right. You probably don't need a stampede. Well, Resolution and company, they're going to be happy with this rush. It's the first of the game, which is... Yeah. Actually kind of shocking, 24 minutes in. It's actually, <laughs> that doesn't happen very, all too often in games like this when you're up 18k right now. Mjolnir picks up now. Yeah, they've just and had to be a freebie. easy free towers and stuff. They haven't really had the, a need to go Roche. Anytime right. they've won a big fight, they've been able to get something better than Roche. Yeah, it's going to be daytime for another three and a half minutes, so I expect them to just go right away. Yikes. 75 damage talent on Centaur. Ooh. By the way, that sound from, I if know. you guys are wondering, that's Null Field, and it's busted. There's no way that's the correct sound. You don't like it? I all. like it. The little crackling. It sounds, all, it sounds like it's distorted audio. I don't like it. I like it. So there? Hm. It's like very low quality audio. I don't know, dude. These guys are some real drawers inside of Mouse, man. They got like little lines going here, another line here. 
Yeah. I like it. Tactical. Oh, there's the hoof stomp. Double edge. He's just creating some space. Why is he? I was, oh, I was gonna say. Second, but... I was wondering why he was so fast, but he had a haste room that just dissipated. Sentai's a fast boy. Look at him. He's half horse, half amazing. Can't deal with him. Well said. Resolution with the. I'm actually a little bit surprised he took the Aegis. But... Right. Stampede's back up for both teams. Yeah, resolution with the Mjolnir activated on himself. The static charge. And there's the heal from Jarax in the back. Is there any way that Mouse can backstab? He's going to jump in actually and get the Dragon Tail off, but he's in a lot of trouble. Illuminate continuing to heal. Just every few seconds, fortifications pop. Mouse sports are likely to lose this Rax if they're not careful. Dragon form still at half duration, so. Yeah, expecting to blink in again and create push. that vision for the Tinker because he's got full mana pool once more. Yeah, but he has no mana to actually stun anybody. <laughs> that's the issue. Yeah, but he he's can just get vision. Illusions. All right, well, that's a free Rax for OG. Not a whole lot you can do. I mean, there's so much long range potential from OG. Actually if you're not going to the fight them there, though, when are, when are you going to fight them? I mean, maybe there's an item they're waiting for. Mm, Tinker, yeah, it was the Manta. That's di disappointing. It just got there. Okay. I mean, I don't think there's anything really close for any hero here that I can see. Maybe Tidehunter Pipe. I mean, it'll help, but I'm not sure if it'll turn the tide. It's a 23,000 net worth lead now for OG. Well, see if the patience pays off here for Mouse. And they're under a ward here again, though. Yeah. God, that's... <laughs> How do you like that sound? I don't know. It's it sounds so like an cool. old NES game. It sounds like Top Gun from the NES. Okay, I agree, but that, in Dota, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, it's very like noticeable. Out of mana. They're running out of sounds, all right? Up is Arcane Boots, has the Ravage available. We'll get Hoof Stomp, though. We can create enough space to get this off. Actually, Drag Resolution jumps in. Skylark just gets blown up. 48 seconds, does have buyback. Stampede is popped. Fly, looking for Spartan. They will so probably slow. find him, and he literally gets two shot. Oh, he's so poor. Yeah, the poor Spartan, man. Look at yeah. the dot on the... He's living a very thing. Spartan lifestyle. That thing is actually... It's <laughs> touching his picture. I've never seen it that low. What? Is that a thing? You ever see tennis where they do the review? And, like, the ball? It shows a little shadow on how close it was to the line? That That's no, him. That's, that's, that, that's this little that's circle right there. <laughs> yeah, Resolution still has a lot of dragon form to go with here. And the Aegis. Mind you, the laser is just ripping through every hero. I cannot imagine a scenario where mouse sports are able to defend this at all. I can. OG, <laughs> blink into the fountain. <laughs> there. I have imagined this scenario. In my life. No resolution. Not too worried about this. He's going to get telekinesis. There's the blink in by Madara, or the doppelganger, I should say. Shadow Shaman taking a lot of damage, and he's going to fall right off the bat again. Spartan is not having a fun time this game. Trying to take out these losers for now. Resolution's Dragon Horn's about to end. Skylark with a big Ravage. Will they have enough damage follow-up? They'll fly. Will be the first to fall for OG. Madara, he's getting really, really low, though. And there's the Stampede into the double edge and into the team wipe in favor of OG. Nice. So they're going to take game two pretty much as convincingly as Mouse took game one. Yeah, I would say so. That The execution was definitely there this game. Uh... The uh, aggressive start with the Spectre, I mean, it's hard to tell. It could have been even worse if he was up against the Caudal and the Centaur. It, uh, those